hi and welcome to my channel. Today we are trying out a bunch of new products or some of them are new to me and some of them are just new on this channel. So today we're going to use the Linda Holberg Spectral Palette. We'll also dip into the Puff McGrath's uh, Sublime Highlighting Trio as well as the uh, Ciate London Dewy uh, Spritz Setting Spray and I'm also going to be using I'm also going to show you how, how I'm using uh, the Anastasia Barelli Hills Dip Brow Gel uh, as well as trying out the Puff McGrath Labs Fetish Eye Mascara for the first time. So if you want to see how I did this look then just please stay tuned. The first new product I'm going to be using today is the Anastasia Barelli Hills Dip Brow Gel and this is in the color Top. And when I use it, I like to take it out like this and then I wipe off any excess product on the tip before I go on to wiping off any excess product on the brush like this. And then when I start working on my brows, I kind of start working here in the middle, in the center of my brow and I'm using an extremely light hand just very carefully brushing through the brow hair and I'm brushing kind of in upwards and backward or like sideways motions towards the tail of the brow and this product kind of works both on the brow hairs and on the skin so it kind of has a double function. Then when I like how this part of the brow is turning out, I'm going towards the inner part of the brow and I'm just very lightly brushing the product through the inner part of my brow. I find that this gives a very nice and natural looking result. And then I'm just going to be picking up a more or less clean spoolie and brush through the brow just to make sure that all the product is evenly distributed. Um, and I'll have to say that even though this looks super simple right now, it took me a while to master how to use this product because it was so much more pigmented than I expected it to be. So the first time I put it on, my brow ended up being too, uh, both, both too thick and also too kind of dark. So you have to use a super, super light hand and make sure there's not too much product on the brush when you do this. With both my brows on, I'm moving on to eyeshadow and I'm already primarily using my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion and for my eyeshadow I'm going to be using the Linda Holberg Spectral Eyeshadow Palette. This has four different colors, looks like this, very nice. I think I want to go for something nice and summery. So I'm going to start out by picking up this light purple color Airy. This is an all matte color and I'm using a Luxe Soft Definer brush from Zoeva and I'm just picking up the color on the brush and placing it on my lid and I'm just going to place this all over the lid and also up into the crease and I'm also blending it a, a little bit upwards above my crease. This is so so easy to work with. It's nice and pigmented, blends out so well, no problems, no patchiness. This was just so quick and easy to do. And next I'm going to go in with this darker purple color called Occult and I'll be using a 201 brush from Real Techniques and I'll just going to be placing this in the outer C of my eye just very carefully tapping it into the lighter 
lilac color. This is sort of a denser pointy brush. It's perfect for working in your crease. And I'm just using this to add some dimension. And I'm just gradually building up the color. And I'm also just going to wing it out a little bit out here, like this. Then I'm going to be picking up this super pretty light pink color unknown. This too is a matte color and I'm using the same brush that I used for the light purple shade and I'm just dipping into the color before I'm placing this all the way under my eye. Just a nice gentle wash of pink. And I'm just smoking this out a little bit and also making sure to connect it to the other colors in the outside corner of my eye. Then for my waterline, I'm picking up my Linda Holbert Mood Crayons and I'm picking up the purple one. Um, this is the Daring Mood and I'm placing this in my waterline. This is a super nice purple color and it sets so that it won't go anywhere. With this in place, I'm picking up the Glitter Color Illusion. This is a super nice silver sparkle. Let me swatch that for you. Looks like this, so nice and shiny. And I'll be using a Real Techniques brow highlighting brush. This is a, and I'm just dipping into uh, the product. This is a very nice and small kind of brush and I'm using this as my inner corner highlight. And then for a mascara today, I have something new and I'm actually quite excited about this. It's the Pat McGrath Labs Fetish Eyes Mascara. It comes in this um, plastic, which I'm not entirely sure how to open because it doesn't have any of those right here. Okay, let me just go find the scissor and I'll be right back. Okay, I cut it open with a pair of nail clippers. So now I can take out the mascara and there's also a little pamphlet in here. I'll save that for later. And as I said, this is inter this is all new to me. I've never tried it before, but it looks great online. It has a nice large brush, just like I like them. So I'm going to start by putting one coat uh, on my lashes from the top before I'm coating them from the bottom. And I do this so that the entire lash will be covered in mascara. And this brush is awesome. It separates my lashes so good. And I'm also using this on my bottom lashes, which might be a little bit harder as the brush is quite big. So far, I really like this mascara. It was super easy to put on. My lashes look so natural and yet so long and full. Um, but I, this is the first time wearing it, so I don't know how it wears yet. I will get back to you on that. Then I've already kind of bronzed up my face a little bit, but I haven't put on blush. And I think this palette, like most other Linda Holberg palettes, are multi-use. So I'm actually going to try to use this pink color unknown as a blush and I'm just picking up a fluffy brush from Sephora and put a, wow that was pigmented placing this on my cheek this should go perfectly with my eyes because it's actually the same color for highlighter I'm going to go in with this Puff McGrath Sublime Skin Highlighting Trio Palette. On the inside, it looks like looks like this. It has comes in three different colors. 
um, two of which I can use as a highlighter and the darkest one I kind of more have to use as a bronzer or eyeshadow. Today I'm picking up this one right here. It's called Iridescent Pink and it kind of shifts, has a pink shift. It's very nice and I think it will go perfectly with the rest of my makeup today. And for this, I'm just using a setting brush from A Real Techniques. Oh yes, this is perfect on top of the unknown color from the Spectral Palette. Oh wow. This is a very nice, subtle pink highlighter. So, you know, perfect for me. This is so perfect. This shine, oh my gosh. I love this. I love this highlighter. It's hands down one of my all-time favorites. Oh, and I have been using this a ton, just not on camera, so I can say that for sure. And it wears beautifully as well. To set my face, I'm going in with the Ciate London Dewy Spritz. This is, you're supposed to shake it wet you're supposed to shake it very well otherwise the kind of glitter specks that you can see inside the bottle is not going to get into, mixed into the fluid and then I'm just spritzing my face this smells so good and I'm just gonna let this dry then to finish off this look, I'm going in with my Sugar Pill uh, Poison Lipstick and this is in the color Obscura. It's relatively new. It's a nice uh, purple color with glitter and I'm just going in with this on my lips directly. This is a relatively dry formula so it won't uh, kind of slide around on your lips and get everywhere. Like this, I know dark lipsticks for summer isn't everyone's cup of tea, but I definitely like it. So for me, this lipstick is perfect. I think that's it for this look. I definitely like how this turned out. I loved all the products that I used in this video, both the ones that I have tried before, like the Dip Brow Gel and the uh, Pat McGrath highlighters and the setting spray, and also the ones that I hadn't tried before, like the Linda Holberg Spectral Palette and the Path McGrath um, Eye Fetish, no, Fetish Eyes Mascara. Um, so I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to see how those two products perform, but otherwise I love this look. I love these products so far. I hope you like this video. <laughs> I hope you like this video and if you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, any feedback, any wishes for future looks, please leave them in the comments down below. Thank you for watching and until next time, bye!